My name is Will Langford. I'm a community engaged teaching artist from Detroit, Michigan and a Michigan State University Spartan. When I think about public scholarship and community engagement, a lot of the terminology from the field sort of flies across my brain. I think about the needs assessments. I think about impact surveys. I think about all of the different elements of community engagement that are about looking outward at the beauty of our communities, at the riches in our communities. I think community engagement now at this time where we're so separated means looking in and thinking about what can I do around here that's gonna help us all, right? Am I an especially good cook? Am I especially strong? Can I like chop down that annoying stump of a tree? Right, what can I do around here, right? To be that rising tide that lifts all boats, right? It's a good time to do that impact assessment right here, right? What impact can I make? I'm thinking about the idea of a synecdoche. A synecdoche is a part that stands in for a whole. So as opposed to farmer, you might say field hand, right? And that hand stands in for the whole farmer. So now I'm thinking about how I can be a synecdoche. What's inside of me that I would love to share? What am I so good at, so great at, that I'd love to teach it, right? More than giving back, it's about being the most that I can be here in ways that are authentic to me. It's about giving poetry, giving visual art lessons. Uh, it's about deliberately seeking out experiences that are artistically fulfilling, right? That are that are that are thrilling, right? It's about seeking out workspaces that liberate us, right? It's, it's about freeing ourselves, right? From, from, from time constraints that it exist outside ourselves. It's about freeing ourselves to work in spaces that are like healthy and familial, home-like. And like pushing for that reality in the programs that we create for people. For me, community-engaged scholarship is about giving what I take. It's about making sure that the impact that I have is like rooted in experiences that are organic to me. Uh, I think that public scholarship means that I take the knowledge, the experiences, um, that I have and all the sites that I work and I carry them with me uh, to the next place where I'm working, right? So as a Fulbright scholar, uh, I traveled to Kenya and I took Detroit with me, uh, literally and figuratively. I took postcards, I took paintings, uh, and, and I had students exchange them. Uh, when I went to Michigan State, I took my love of performance poetry with me and founded the MSU Slam Poetry Team. I think that by moving across these spaces, academic spaces, spaces that are outside the academy, making that movement fluid, it shows that knowledge is created on both sides of whatever divide is supposed to exist there. It's, it's about where the knowledge is made, all right? And if I create that knowledge right here uh, in the city of Detroit, then it's academic. Uh, it's about uh, dissolving, uh, dissolving those barriers so that people can actually pick those fruits, right? Um, it's about making work that's accessible uh, to people and communities that I am invested in.